Newly released body cam video shows the moments after police say an armed suspect shot into a crowd of people leaving a football game at First Coast High School. Oh. Hey, white shirt, white shirt, white shirt! Oh. That shooting happened last month. The 15-year-old suspect was shot by police during a foot chase. No one else was hurt. News for Jackson reporter Eric Abinay joining us live from Jacksonville Police Headquarters after speaking with a retired JSO director about this new video. Eric? Joy, that body cam video clearly shows that officers had several factors they were dealing with while trying to apprehend the suspect. Uh, factors that include darkness, crowds of people, and an armed suspect on the move. The body cam video begins after JSO officers pull over a vehicle during a traffic stop at the entrance to the First Coast High School parking lot. Multiple people were arrested on gun charges during that stop, but moments later, a fight breaks out in the parking lot and multiple officers run toward the crowd of people surrounding the fight. The person in the white shirt that officers were chasing was identified as 15-year-old Devon Thompson. Investigators say that as officers were running towards a crowd of people to break up the fight, Thompson fired gunshots into the crowd. During the foot chase, officers fired at Thompson. Hey, shoot, shot, fire, shot, fire! Hey, hey, hey! The foot chase ended at a gas station where Thompson went down after being shot in the hip and grazed in the forehead. According to the officers who took Thompson into custody, this handgun was tucked under his pants. You have to look at the totality of the circumstances there. You know, Tom Hackney is a retired JSO director who was once involved in an officer-involved shooting. Hackney reviewed the body cam video and said the officers involved in this incident had split-second decisions to make despite the danger they themselves could pose to innocent bystanders. The subject in this case, you can see he, he starts firing, everybody starts running, you got people everywhere. So you have to weigh that as a law enforcement officer. If, you know, the, the immediate threat, is he going to continue causing that? And then you have to also weigh at the same time the, the threat that you are causing by, by firing into you know, a, an area that you're not sure of what the backdrop is. It's dark and innocent bystanders are everywhere. So officers must be accurate with their aim while shooting at an armed moving target. Hey, Hackney says this is when weeks of police training with firearms during various scenarios really helps. And the training that, that's done is, is not only done from a static position, but it's done from, from seated positions. It's done moving. It's done uh, with some targets in a combat course uh, just for this very thing. And it appears the training paid off because no officers or innocent bystanders were injured. And the gun Thompson allegedly used was reported stolen. A forensic investigation matched shell casings at the scene uh, that seemed to the same gun. Now, meanwhile, uh, off the officer's use of lethal force is still under investigation. Reporting live from outside JSO headquarters, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you, Eric.